Hi, I'm Hasina Jaffer, Academic Chair of Critical Care Programs here at the Michener. The critical care programs are made up of three individual programs. The second program is the Cardiovascular Perfusion Program. Now this is a profession in great demand. Um, the program runs over five semesters. And similarly, it also incorporates a didactic component, hands-on labs, clinical simulation experiences, as well as clinical placements at one of our many clinical partner sites. Looks like I've got everything good up here. Okay. Uh, are you ready to go on bypass? Yeah, we'll just, uh, checking the ACT now. I want you to cool the 34 when we go on, please. Okay. So let me know what the ACT is. Yeah. ACT is 240, still climbing. Pump suckers are just going on now. Thank you. 300. Let me know when they're past 480. Okay. We're just there, 480 and climbing. All right, I'm ready to go on bypass. Okay, going on. and cooling to 34. Thank you. You can flush your pleats to yourself. Flushing now. Are we draining well? Yeah. Good. Still flushing. Okay, that's good. Off there. Thank you. Vent only. Vent All right. Breath. All right, flow down. Pump is going down. Cross clamp is on. Start your plege, flow back up. Plege is on. Flow back up. We're seeing some pressure, high pressure. On the cardioplegia. Yeah, can you handle that? Checking. Okay. Plege is back on. Still high pressure on the plege. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Maybe just flow a little lower. Okay. Tell me when we have uh, a systole. Okay, leech is running. How much is in? So far, 170. Heart looks like it's stopped up here. Okay, still giving. Hi, my name is uh, Mike Aubin. I'm faculty here at the Mitchner Institute in the Cardiovascular Perfusion Program. You may have just seen me playing surgeon in that little vignette we just shot for you. Uh, we wanted to give you a, a taste of, of what we will uh, be teaching you guys in labs and simulations and ultimately what you'll be doing in the clinic. So what you saw there was our S5 heart lung machine, which is a very state-of-the-art heart lung machine that many hospitals are using, and our high perfusion Califia perfusion simulator. Um, with me in that video was Constantine Delamagus. He's also my co-faculty. He was playing the role of the student for you. Uh, just a few words about the program. So you enter the program with an undergraduate degree. Some of you will have clinical experience, some of you won't. So there's a couple streams that allow you to enter the program. We're a, um, about a year and a half long program. Uh, three semesters of didactic schooling here at the Michener, which also includes some online portion early in your learning. And we follow that up with uh, 29 weeks of clinical training in various hospital sites across Canada. Now, as far as the clinical training is concerned, it's important to point out to you that it will be done at three different geographical locations in Canada, so relocation is necessary. So uh, during your stay here at the Michener, as I said, we, we have a three-semester program a wide variety of courses that build upon each other. Uh, we include lecture-based courses, lab, and simulation. Uh, we also try to get you into the GTA hospitals for observation visits. Um, I would certainly direct you to the website to get a little more detail on the courses that are in the program. Um, keep in mind that we're in very unusual circumstances these days with the COVID pandemic. So a lot of our didactic lectures uh, have been gone, going to an online format but we still have to get you into the school for labs and simulation. There's no way to um, give that programming to you uh, in an online format. Um, so that's the program. Again, I would direct you to the website for more detail. Um, as far as the profession of cardiovascular perfusion is concerned, we're in a good place right now. Um, 
we're like many healthcare professions right now in a graying of our profession. There's a lot of retirements, so that allows a lot of openings for new graduates. Um, perfusion is, is certainly in that boat. In the last oh, uh, four or five classes, there's been 100% job placement for our graduates. Um, some graduates like to go to work in the state, so one of the nice perks of our program is with completion of the program, you get reciprocity to write the American board exam. So if that's an option for you um, that many students have taken in the past, they'll write their Canadian certification and American boards at the same time. As far as personal characteristics are concerned, it's a sort of a special place, the cardiac OR. The students that have done well tend to be able to handle stressful situations well. They multitask. You, you're often faced with two or three decisions that you have to um, um, do at the same time, so prioritizing these decisions is very important. Those are very useful skills. You have to be able to communicate well in the OR. Um, again, it, stress comes with the job, so we will try to mimic those situations in our lab and simulations here at the school, so you won't be walking into clinic totally unprepared in that regard. So just a word about what perfusionists actually do. Uh, I would estimate the bulk of our job is in the cardiac OR operating the heart-lung machine, similar to what you saw in the video earlier. Um, our job is to maintain the patient's oxygenation and circulation and stop the heart so that the surgeon could actually go to work and do whatever it is they have to do, whether it's to do a, an aortic coronary bypass for a patient who's had a, a myocardial infarction, or whether it's to repair or change a heart valve, or even work on aortic surgery, the heart usually needs to be stopped. So that's our job, and then to maintain the patient's blood pressure and oxygenation, as I mentioned. So what you saw in the video, for instance, is we actually went on bypass, and then we stopped the heart with what we call cardioplegia. Um, you may have noticed that the uh, heart rhythm went from a heart rate of around 60 or 70 down to zero. So that's what we do in the OR. Lately, we find that uh, perfusionists have been used outside the OR more and more, particularly in the ICU, in critical care areas, um, operating other pieces of equipment that require extracorporeal circulation of blood. So one example is a methodology called ECMO, or E-C-M-O. So in ECMO, very, very sick patients who either have a heart that isn't working very well or lungs that are, just can't do the job, even with mechanical ventilation, require extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. So perfusionists are often the frontline worker running the ECMO machines. Case in point during COVID, the very sickest patients in the ICU who are suffering from oxygenation failure often end up on ECMO. And it's usually us that operate that equipment outside the OR. So we've actually altered our course to uh, increase critical care learning and ECMO learning for our students to meet that demand. So you've heard me talk a little bit about the program, the profession. Uh, I think we've just put our patient on bypass and stopped the heart. Maybe we better get back in that room and get that heart started again and come off bypass. All right, looks like uh, I'm about done up here. I got my wires in. Um, what's the patient temperature? We're up to 37 now. And we have a good rhythm? Yep. All right, and last, what was the last potassium? 4.5. Excellent. All right, well, I'm ready to come off bypass. Can you get him down to half flow for us, please? Sure. Leaving some blood behind. Let me know when you're at half flow. Yep. Yeah. We're at half flow now. Okay, how are we doing? Well, I think we just need a little more filling up. All right, keep filling, please. Okay. Do you want to wean to come off? Come down to one. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, we're down to a liter there. We can come off, just give them a couple hundred. Okay, venous line is clamped. We're transfusing. You can keep the pressure around 100, I'll be happy. Okay, still giving. And we're coming off there. 
Her off. Good. Her off there. Suck her up. Suck her up. All right, I'm happy with that. We can start protamine. Okay, thank you.